Welcome to the Ameridroid Mini Lab slash Electrical Closet. Today we'll be unboxing Chip version 1.0. Just came in the mail today. So it comes in a cardboard box with a legal disclaimer on the back. Inside you have your uh, component, not component, your composite video and stereo audio. And inside is the chip in an anti-static bag. Break the seal and pull out the chip. The chip comes with a plastic protector on one side. Looks like it's mounted with at least one screw there. So the sides are nicely labeled. That's handy. And even on the inside pins on either side is also labeled. All right. So you can probably power the chip straight here from the five volt and the ground. Now I'm not going to hook up to monitor right now, but I am in the mini lab and we can see with our volt meter here, well actually our power supply, we'll see what kind of current this pulls when we turn it on. Alright, so we've got the lights there and it's pulling 1.3 watts or so at 5 volts. And yeah, it's normal for it to fluctuate like that during boot especially. And we'll see here if it stabilizes. All right, well, my guess is that it has finished booting now and it's at 1.2 watts at five volts. So that's pretty decent. All right, we'll plug this into a monitor and see what it does. All right, well, now we're gonna start up the chip on our vintage Commodore monitor. That's over 31 years old. We'll see how this looks. Yellow goes into video. And because this is a mono stereo, I can use either the white or the red in the audio plug. While it's booting, I will plug in the wireless keyboard and mouse combo. And there we go. I will turn down the brightness a little bit. Alright, well the mouse doesn't work so it looks like we had to have it plugged in before we booted. So I will try rebooting using the reboot switch on the end here. That looks like that shut off chip, so let's try turning it back on. There we go. So you hold it down for a few seconds to force it off or to turn it back on. But I'm still not seeing the chip logo, so I will try unplugging it and plugging it back in. There's the chip logo. Now remember this monitor is about 32 years old, so the picture quality is not very good on it but it'll give us an indication. And the mouse works now. 
So it looks like booting it with the dongle already attached is the trick. The chip does have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth built in. There's the Bluetooth logo. established. All right, well, let's try something. Ice Weasel for internet. All right, there's the internet on a $9 computer. We'll go to our website, Ameridroid. And everything looks good. Hopefully one day soon you'll be seeing Chip on here. That's it for today.